This is a 1967 Ford Mustang. Um, original Metal Arc yellow car, and that's exactly how it sits today. Came from the factory as a six-cylinder car. Um, still has the six-cylinder in it. It was upgraded with headers, and it does have dual exhaust on it. The dual exhaust sounds real nice. Uh, it's had all new plugs, wires, carburetor's been redone. Um, engine compartment looks very presentable. Engine looks nice, bottom of the hood looks good. It's got a couple boils, one on each side, which is very common on the Mustangs. This little six-cylinder car also has remote mirror, and it has power steering, which is an excellent option. This is a nice original car. Um, it's been restored years ago, and the restorer did decided to, uh, I guess the last restorer, um, decided to upgrade this car with some GT uh, fog lights, and they're working. Also has the deluxe hood. It's got, uh, as I mentioned before, it's got power steering, it's got dual exhaust headers, it's got a brand new set of uh, GT rims, the chrome GT rims, which are beautiful, um, like new Cooper Cobra radial tires. They're 15 inch rims, 215s all the way around it looks like. This little Mustang's an awesome driver. It's also been updated with uh, power, or I'm sorry, not power disc brakes. It's been updated with disc brakes in the front and the rear end's been changed out. The factory six cylinder rear end's been changed out to a later model one with disc brakes in the back. So it's got four wheel disc brakes now. The grill and the fog lights are in excellent shape. The chrome around the horse and the corral is great. Um, bumpers are fair. The bumpers have some scratches in them front and rear. Um, very presentable, but they're not new like some of the rest of the chrome. Front valance is in excellent shape. As we look at our driver's side hood gap, that's in great shape. Again, it matches up really closely to that front fender. Um, the paint job looks good at 30 foot. I mean, it looks great at 30 foot. You get up close, um, and it looks really nice in a lot of other ways, but it does need lower rear quarter work done. Um, both of the lower rear quarters behind the wheel are bubbled out, um, but the car in general looks really nice for a turnkey driver. As far as paint on the front fender and the passenger side goes, you know, we got um, a few paint chips. You can see there a paint chip right in front of my finger. Uh, lower fender is excellent. There's no blisters anywhere in that fender. Um, the emblems are original. We do have a couple blisters right here in the very front edge of the door. Um, and it's got a couple little imperfections. You know, we got a couple little paint, paint cracks here. As far as our door gap goes on the back side of the door, it's nice and even from top to bottom. As I mentioned before, we do have rust around rust blisters around this rear quarter, also around the driver's side quarter. We got some on the front here, blisters, um, and a couple tiny little ones at the very back behind this quarter. This quarter is the better one of the two. Um, as you look at the undercarriage pictures, the undercarriage looks really nice on this. Um, frame rails and stuff all seem really solid. So, and if we look up and down the sides of this Metal Lark Yellow '67 Mustang, the paint has a beautiful shine and it has a very straight body from front to back on this passenger side. Rear valance looks good, dual exhaust looks good. Um, chrome around the tail lights, those are, that's all brand new or like new, it looks good anyway. Um, back bumper is presentable, it's got, uh, looks like it's got a brand new GT uh, gas cap on it. As far as the paint um, on the trunk lid, it's, that's in great shape and the gaps are really nice there as well. So we have some chips along the edges, you can kind of see that. So the car's got some paint imperfections, but the worst part on this whole car is just the lower quarters, driver's side and uh, passenger side. Other than that, the body and paint is very presentable on this car. Uh, door handle looks like that's been replaced, that looks real good. Um, as we open the door jams, the paint on the door jams is decent. Um, we look at that corner of the door, it's never had any body filler there. As we look at the inside of the door, uh, the black paint around the metal part of the door is in great shape. Armrest, door panel is all like new. Seat covers are fantastic, um, front and back. We do have uh, a little bit 
of a seam split kind of starting right there by my finger. Other than that, the seat cushions are great. The, the seat backs are excellent. They kind of appear original almost. I mean, they're not, um, they're not brand new by any means, but they're very well kept. Back seat's excellent. Back door panels is great. Back shelf's got some nice six by nines in there and is done very professionally. Uh, headliner's in great shape. That looks like brand new still. Um, does have the shoulder belts up there, tucked up up top. Dome light and dome light cover looks nice. Does have the deluxe wood grain steering wheel. That was added. Our dome lights work in here under both doors when they're open. Uh, carpet looks excellent. Sill plate looks nice, jam paint looks very presentable. Like I said, this is just a really nice car and this has got the full console with it. And it also has an updated Mustang uh, digital radio that works and it's just all been installed. Um, dash pad looks real good on it. Roof rail rubbers are uh, still pliable. They're not new, but they're still in decent shape. These rubbers here have a few cracks in them, but presentable too. As far as our window goes, it seals up very nicely all across the back. Door shuts nice. I really like this car, guys. I know it's a six owner, but it runs and drives good down the road. It's got some nice options. Here's our driver's side. And like I said, besides this lower quarter behind the wheel, um, the body's just as straight as the passenger side. The paint's nice and shiny. It definitely is rusted out right back here behind the rear wheel. We're not trying to hide anything. It's just I can't fix them all. So we decided to leave this one the way it is because it looks so dang good um, overall. And um, we sell it the way it is. So Gaps are really good here. Got a couple blisters down low again. There's one right here. And a couple little paint imperfections in that very front edge of that door. And some paint chips. So. Um, our color is W on this, trim is 2A, date is 20A, DSO 16, door jams are super solid, bottom corner of the door is nice. Rubbers are all original on this car, door rubbers, everything. Door panel on the driver's side is excellent, just as nice as the passenger. Does have the remote mirror, that works. Driver's side seat, I don't see any... If we're going to pick it apart at all, it's way down in here and starting to split just a little bit on that cord at the bottom. Other than that, our seat back's in good shape as well. Back seat, carpet, everything's nice. Like I said, this car's got a great interior and a great running and driving car. Um, previous owner, <clears throat> he put the disc brakes on, put the, all the GT stuff on. Um, the interior is already just excellent. He put the radio and stuff in. He had every intention of the next move putting the V8 motor in it. He already had the dual exhaust done, that kind of thing. Um, just never got around to it. He ended up trading this in on a 70 Mach 1. So, so this car is basically screaming out for a V8 motor. It's already got the rear end to handle it. It's got the four wheel disc brakes, the power steering, beautiful interior. Uh, you put a V8 motor in this thing if you'd like and uh, repaint, you got yourself a really nice Mustang. As far as on this console, guys, um, this one piece right here is kind of fell down. I don't know what's going on there. It needs to be fixed. This is where the I don't know if the seat belt holders go in here or what. But anyway, that part needs to be fixed on the console. I'll do that when we get back. The odometer shows 17,887 miles. Heater fan works. Oil pressure is right at a half at an idle. Um, Fuel gauge works, alternator gauge works, temp gauge works. It's nice, running nice and cool. It's got the Mustang AM FM digital radio. Wipers work. Horn works. Like I said, it's got the deluxe wheel. Turn signals in the hood work both sides. So. Everything works on this thing. Another 
thing I like about this, like I said, it's got power steering, which a lot of these Mustang coupes didn't have, especially six cylinder cars. Um, and that power steering is excellent. The steering gear in it's nice. Four wheel disc brakes are great on it. You know, you're braking, you got a nice full pedal, no pull left or right. Kick down on the transmission works. Transmission shifts smooth. Here's our brakes, no hands on the wheel, no pull. For those of you that have a V8 at home, you'd be a perfect candidate for it. This little six cylinder sounds good with the dual exhaust and the headers. You know, going down the road, it sounds like a V8, it just doesn't function like one. Speedometer's off, probably about 10 mile an hour, shows we're doing about 85. Cruising right down along the road, does not need an alignment. It's got some lower gears in the rear end when they updated that. I, I'm guessing 355, something like that, probably. They're just right for an updated VA. Great little Mustang.